Hello and welcome to This Is. GameStop has just fired their CFO and hopefully for a good reason because they still sell some really dumb products. GameStop is a company that over the last 10 years has had so many different focuses. They, you know, take cell phone trade-ins. They sell you gaming PC stuff. And now they're just trying to cater to you diamond hands. Are you still holding? Let us know in the comments, depending on how we upload videos. This might be a momentous occasion because this is the last video that we're recording in this setup. It's all gone. I'm gonna say Mega Raptor can just hang out here. But the first product they still sell, which is really dumb, is the PS4 chat what? pad. What? Wait, who I actually needs this? Like, I guess to type passwords in, but like, who actually does text chat on PS4 or PS5 or anything? There's some used items that I will get from GameStop, but this one here, I will not get oh, used. Oh, this is only Because this is used. Oh, this no wonder it's a style may in vary. This is going to greasy ass Cheeto dust hands because they didn't watch a This Is episode about the best Instagram ads where they got the ch the finger chopsticks. Oh, so this is $20. That is- Dollars? $20. Is that US dollars? Yes. All right, next, next up, up, we have... Oh, hell no. <laughs> I've tried these. The Bose Frames Tempo Audio Sunglasses. Okay, so have you ever worn your sunglasses and thought that you're super cool, but you're too cool to put in your headphones because lamos put headphones in their ears. So instead, your sunglasses have speakers that beam form or bone conduct or whatever nonsense. Those are two very use. different technologies for the record. But it's 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 non. Nothing is in your ear, but it's it's sending audio waves through the air into your ear holes. Is this considered oral bliss? If it, if it. No, it's oral disappointment. Oral bliss is mouth. A U R A L. A U R A L. Right. Is ears. No, I'm saying Mouth. oral. But you don't say it right. You're saying it right now because I'm yelling at you. Oral. <laughs> this has been a running joke for three years. But I say it wrong sometimes. No, you say it, it wrong me. all the time. No, 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 no. I and then I right. yell oral. And then everyone in the comments go, oral. Oh, yeah, he's oral. Look, <laughs> these things suck. They, and they look stupid. You've tried them, right? I have tried them. If you wear these out, guess what? You're a nerd. Oh, so these are $200. GameStop sells these. It's super weird because it's not a gaming product. Which brings us to our next product, which is one of the most tech of all time. The Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Here's where I'm like, this is why it's on the list. They're all carrier locked. Which is ridiculous. I always thought that this phone looked a little bit awkward, especially with the fingerprint sensor. Such a weird spot below the camera. If you, in, yeah, unless you had like giant like... Unless you're Marquez. However, this is back from a time where GameStop, and I know that they still do this somewhat, but they were doing a major push to be your cell phone store. You could trade in your Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and get yourself $11 of store credit to buy... DLC or, or some V-Bucks or something. Oh, man. So a fun fact about this is that you can also get the Galaxy Note 10 for, like, the exact same okay. price. Wait, 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 wait. Let's play Price is Right rules. Who can get closest to the price of what? 259 No. 3 30. It is 323 and then you can get the Note 10 for 329 This is stupid. Don't buy a, a Note 9 then. Well, there's a lot of you buy. Oh my god, yeah, that's so stupid. That that's oh, that, To me, wow. that's the most egregious part of this. If you're buying a, a, a phone that's from 2018, unlock it. What's the point? I don't know. Moving on. We have... Whoa, ba, ba, da, ba, 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 da, ba. We have to blur that? Wait, the wait, Bella wait. Beat Leaf Chakra Fitness Tracker. This vagina pendant. Is optimized for women's <laughs> wait, wait, wait. health. It does not have a screen or buttons, but it is enhanced with a choice of rose quartz, love, or onyx, oh, good power, Lord. healing crystals. So it is a fitness tracker. So am I correct in, in assuming that this is, will Bluetooth to your phone and track like, I don't know, your steps or something? What, what does it actually do? Other question, what kind of fitness tracker can be accurate if it's on your necklace bouncing around every time you take a step? It takes women's well-being to the next level by combining technology with the natural powers of crystals. Oh. Monitor your activity, sleep, stress sensitivity, hydration, and mindfulness minutes. I literally don't understand any part of this. First of all, the fact that this is a GameStop product. Second of all, what? Third of all, what? Fourth of all, what? This is snake oil because- $89 worth of snake oil. Moving on to the, a much less oh, sus on. product. Oh, wait, this is, not in the, this is not a GameStop item. You cannot buy this from GameStop. You are lying to me right now. This micro USB powered. <laughs> you can yell at your voice command lock from GameStop. The pre-programmed code for this is 8008. Can you like, stop, Matt? 
I don't personally love the idea of smart connected locks. Generally speaking, I don't trust my home security to random turbo lock companies from GameStop. But also, who buys this from GameStop? What? The Skelter Smart Communication oh, oh, RGB oh, Keyboard. Oh, I have this. This showed up in our PO box. I don't know, a couple years ago, because it's still got micro USB. It's the stupid Rocat thing, where it's got a little uh, thing where you can drop your smartphone in. Kinsey, how much does it cost? $160. You could get a 1996 Ford Focus for that money. <laughs> I'd rather. I'd, I'd rather the Ford Focus. All right, what's what's the next product here? We got Farming Simulator oh, 22 Collector's no. Edition. So this is the Collector's Edition for PC, which comes with a disc. I cannot think of any modern game that still comes on a disc for PC. Like, almost nothing. Thing that's like actually like a proper new game, bro. Game stocks. <laughs> game stocks. I want to apologize to all the diamond hands out there. You apes are holding strong. Are, are they still? Yeah. Aren't we over this yet? No. Oh, okay. I can't say this with a straight face. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Tell, tell the people what they need to hear that they're doing the uh, GameStop's good work and it's pumping the value of a marginally successful game company that has ripped people off for decades is a good idea. I very sincerely want to thank everyone who has purchased GameStop stock to keep this company in business because boy oh boy have I made a lot of clickbait videos buying dumb things from GameStop and making fun of them. It's been a true delight so please keep GameStop in business so I can keep making dumb GameStop videos like this one. The <gasps> Mad Cats! Oh, okay. I had one of these too, Matt. So this transformer gone wrong is currently unavailable. That means like there's one yep. GameStop across all of the world that has one of these. It fell off a shelf behind some boxes somewhere. So like with an old lost, like 1997. Yeah, it got pack. lost in the inventory. Yeah. The Mad Cat's rat somehow makes this dumb hand keep uh, keyboard mouse thing look Practical. The Mad Cats, so the thing is, if you never played with Mad Cats, right? Obviously, they made like all those like weird third party little brother controllers, but also Mad Cats was a early, fairly big gaming company when it came to like the PC space too. Like, I remember when we mm -hmm. were doing videos way back in the day, Mad Cats rat mouses were actually like people used them. I had one, a lot of people had them. They weren't amazing, but they were like super customizable. And this is Mad Cats in general. Yeah. They had features, but aesthetically, they were so hideous and ugly. To, like, no one even wanted to have these on their desk. How much is the most expensive mouse? So $200, and the wireless one is $250. I didn't know that mouse got that expensive. Yeah. The phone this soap? The phone soap. No, not the phone soap. The home soap. 27 times the sanitizing space of the original phone soap. You can put a laptop in it. Yeah. What? I would say it was listed at $499, and now it is $399. No. No, uh, $299, When I first started making this video, it was listed at $170, and now it is $85. And I feel like it sensed my disdain and was like, oh, I'll cut down some, I'll have a hundred bucks just for you. Enamel pins of Funko Pops. Wait. Um, what? here's the thing though, like, I feel like this is just something that you can get on Etsy for even cheaper. Well, the pops kind of make sense, because like, yeah, that's the, it's a 3D kind of thing. But why would you do an enamel pen of a weird looking thing, which is a, it's like you're like one yeah. level too deep. I wonder if you cut these open if they have brains. Am I reading this right? These are like 10 to 15 bucks for one pen? Yes. But well, well, I mean, the good deal here is we got nine dollars for a five pack of Office Care. I don't know. I don't. I think it's an assortment. I don't know if you get all five. You're of them. an assortment. Moving on. The Jensen cassette player. This guy here that they still sell today has a built-in speaker. It includes a headphone jack and two AA batteries. But not included. Not included. When did you switch from cassettes to CDs? That's my real question. I think it was like 2000. Exactly. Yeah. My first CD was a Burger King free CD, which I gleefully put into. It came, it came in like a Happy Meal, and it, I gleefully oh, put it in my PS One. Oh, they didn't have Happy Meals at Burger King. Sorry, Burger Meals or whatever. I put it in my PS One, the only device in the entire house that could play CDs, and I listened to it on my CRT, and it was like I actually think it was like Backstreet Boys or something. It was like it was like That's one of the like three single uh, CDs. The cassette player looks great. How much is this cassette player? And if it's more than thirty dollars. Nineteen ninety nine. Sixteen dollars. Some of you have never had to rewind a, t a cassette player with the, the eraser end of a pencil and it shows. Like this idiot right here. I'm making some really good noises and you know that they're pretty good. I cannot believe that I've gotten so old so fast. Time has moved by. It's such an absolutely ridiculously fast pace. 
I feel like the things that we're saying right now sound like we like are from we, 1910. Yeah, like but this it, was not that long ago. The only reason we get any Zoomer audience is because of RoboRaptor. <laughs> the Disney Orange Android tablet. Do you want to have an iPad baby but don't have iPad money? Now you can get this tablet that runs Android 8.1 Go or 10 Go, depending on what part of the page you read. It looks like one of those generic, basic, super, super cheap Android tablets with that sort of, you know, that rubber foam case yep. that your annoying three-year-old cousin is gonna just toss on the ground. However, reviewers have said, it broke. <laughs> so. $99. Thank we you very much for watching. Buy a bulk pack Subscribe of to the channel. Fires. And make sure to ring -ling the ding -ling bell. It's like 30 Amazon fires for that price. Can we all just say a, qu a quick moment of silence? The last video that is ever being shot in this space Maybe it's not the last video that actually you're watching from this space, but uh, until we see you on a brand new set that's probably very different and partially on fire, let's say Why would you jinx it like that? And adieu. We're after, after the credits right now, right? When we first got this set ready, Aaron spent a lot of time creating a graphic that has never, ever been used. We're gonna use it once and one time only. This is only because you made it to the very end of the video, friends. This is a rare treat. This, my friends, is a two hour loop of the This Is logo as if it is a DVD. And I will tell you that out of this two hours, we've timed it. It hits the corner once after an hour and 43 minutes. Look at that though, isn't that beautiful? Look, look, it's getting close, but no. Thank you very much for watching. We will be back very shortly because ideally, the studio move goes super smoothly and we're back up and running in a matter of moments. And Matt is growing gray hairs with every other word I speak the more I talk about this. Thank you for watching, though. Sincerely, the studio has been great, but it's time for us to move on to bigger and better things. Let's play it out with the DVD outro, and uh, we'll uh, catch you uh, next time. As we go on, we remember all the times we've had together. I don't remember any of the lyrics. At this point, we should have... Fade it out.